Uh oh. I think I found my next avatar. By the way, I, like currently we're we've got Vanessa Kirby in some you know tight shiny outfits. I think I think we'll get Anna Diarmas as my next avatar. <laughs> anyway, right. Moving on, ballerina and the crow. They've shifted around. They're doing some reshoots for ballerina because they're getting Chad Stileski. Because obviously they've given the entirety of the John Wick universe to Chad Stileski. Obviously he sort of created it anyway. But they're like, you deal with everything. We love everything you do. You handle it all, good sir. So he's coming to sh to do some reshoots on ballerina to add even more action. Not a bad thing. This is all very very good actually. Uh, so it's been delayed. It's also very smart from Lionsgate because they don't really produce much content. So obviously they don't have a backlog of content to release because of the strikes anyway. And because they don't produce much content. So they've spaced two movies out to two summers, 2024 and 2025. That means they believe in both films, actually. They believe in The Crow because that's going to be released June and Ballerina is going to be released June in 2025 as well. So I think this is all good, actually. And also, um, Deadline give us a synopsis of The Crow, which perfectly uh, corroborates my leaks, which is here. Soulmates Eric Draven and Shelley Webster are brutally murdered when the demons of her dark past catch up with them. So that's exactly what I was saying. Yeah. Uh, given the chance to save his true love by sacrificing himself, Eric sets out to seek merciless revenge on their killers, traversing the worlds of the living and the dead to put the wrong things right. Uh, but you know, the, 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 this is all good. Ballerina, this part here. So the move comes as John Wick architect and Chad Stileski has inked a new deal with Lionsgate to oversee the franchise. Did he have anything to do with Ballerina before? That's my question. Well, I, I, I presume not. Um, maybe. I don't know, actually. But he's working with Ballerina Director now on additional action sequences for the movie to amp it up even more. I think he did on... No, no, he must have done because it's one of his characters. Yes. So that doesn't he, would have, he would have had to. But anyway, he, he's, he's back to do additional action sequences to make it even, you know, bigger. Um, but apparently the Ballerina stands alone... You know, it's, apparently it's all good. I think this is very positive. Um, advanced tracking for Ballerina is good. Uh, Lionsgate want to make it a huge feature. This, to me, is very positive. I am not concerned by any of this, and there's two reasons why. Chad Stileski, Lionsgate with John Wick, they have earned my benefit of the doubt. I keep saying this on this podcast. When a studio earns my benefit of the doubt, I'm not going to be negative when they've earned my benefit of the doubt. And this this company has. Everything they do with John Wick, I'm always happy with. Even the Continental, right? It's a John Wick spin-off. Does it work as a John Wick prequel? Did you yeah. see Expendables 4? I'm not talking about Expendables. I'm talking about John It's Wick. the same company. Am I on the Twilight Zone here? In what world is Lionsgate some great company? I'm talking about Lionsgate with John Wick. One great movie, two, three, and four were meh. I liked it, or whatever. Oh. I didn't like it. Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> what do we think? Anyway, there you go. There's the news. And the crow is going to suck. You already told us that. Well, I didn't say it was going to suck. I don't know what it's going to. Oh, it I was sounds like it it's going to suck, dude. <laughs> the crow never needed to be remade. Uh, well, that's, nothing. Not the, that's not the argument, anyway. Is that we don't we we're not going to say. Okay, here, okay, I'll do something positive. Okay, I'm going to go under the assumption that. that Stileski had very little to do with the ballerina before, and now he has control. So yes, he's looked at it and goes, "We can make this better." I'll give you that. That's yeah, possibly that's what that is about. Yeah, as far yeah, as the, that... as far as the spinoffs go, Continental was well received. I've liked everything like you, Nate, that they've done with uh, with the John Wick stuff. I'm looking forward to this. I hope it's great. Uh, as far as Lionsgate, I'm I'm definitely on the side of Tom there. It's not it's not uh, it's not a great movie studio, but uh, but I, I like what they're doing yeah, with the John Wick stuff. In in the you say that about stuff. Lionsgate, they 
whether they produce them or not, they acquire other films for distribution that they believe in as well. Lionsgate were the distributors in the UK and Europe of The Iron Claw, a fucking fantastic film. So they are. Did you see The Expendables? Or I don't care about the bloody Expendables. I checked out after the first one. <laughs> Wait, I can't wait to hear what Andre has to say because he's the one who dubbed them Bombgate. Oh, God. No, Bomb Factory, actually. But yeah. Well, here's the thing, though, because it's all about who you set to handle each individual movie. Because Lionsgate, when they were handled by an idiot who personally had a bigger idiot to all of the marketing and made some very questionable green lighting decisions, I forgot the name of that person, and they truly were a bomb factory. But after that, when the when those people were removed, and they were removed, now it's not like they, they have a culture for greatness or anything, but they do it's have a lot, culture man. for, it depends entirely on who is helming each individual project. You got a good producer or director, you're going to get a good movie. You get a bad one, you're going to get a bad movie. Simple as that. Like, Lionsgate generally they have a laissez-faire attitude. So so whoever get, is assigned to do something, they have relative freedom to do it, and then it'll turn out to be whatever it's going to be. I will they, say for the, yeah, I'm, look, I'm looking at that stuff. They've done some really good stuff, actually. Yeah, that, but that's what I'm saying. You assign you assign rich. good people, you're gonna get some really good stuff. And the uh, Lionsgate, there was a time, there was like a five year period where everything was horrible and that's because i forget the name of was it joe drake i think it may have been joe drake joe drake was an oh, idiot. The, the guy at lines that, really that good, he greenlit was uh, bombed and <clears throat> and every yeah and the marketing guy who decided to take all the pictures for the campaign service he was awful mm. but but since then it's entirely up to who is working on the individual thing the Crow is something that I personally care so little about that I'm just not interested. It's not in my radar. It never has been. I even think the original movie is overrated. Never read the comic. Never sold on the concept. Don't care about this movie. So it can only impress me. It can only impress me because I care so little. As for this other thing, I'm like, yeah, okay, let's see what Stalhesky can do. If he is able to, if he has some really unique cool thing to to do with this thing here is going to be cool and and if he's running on fumes or he doesn't have any other things to uh to to keep it interesting it's going to be stale although the action i'm sure is going to be fantastic simple as that it's it's entirely up to the creatives because the studio is going to let the creatives do what they will do wait you That's don't like hard. the crow no, I don't dislike it. I just don't care about it. What? What? Not what an Eric Draven, Eric Draven what? fan, I, I guess. Are you talking about the you be right up his alley, dude? I thought that'd be something that you would like. Yeah, sorry. Between what? just, are, are you talking about the new one, Andre, or the original Crow? Well, the original. Oh. Oh yeah, my I, god! I, I don't. I don't care. Oh, Andre. I don't care about this new version. Because the movie looks like a it. Norwegian music video. Oh, my God, Andre. Dude, I'm not a true cult Norwegian black metal dude. Oh, my uh, God, Andre. You're letting everyone down there, mate. He's a Norwegian <laughs> snob. Need I, need I remind everyone you like Exodus? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, but, but the point exactly, right? It depends exactly on who you got working uh, working on it. And that's what I said. This movie can only impress me. Like, probably I should re-watch The Crow at some point. That's like, amazing. Well, yeah, maybe if I re-watch it now, I oh, guess yeah. it's a movie that I like. I didn't. I wasn't blown away when I saw it before. Of course, I haven't seen it for more than twenty they years. Did, they did so, three ten to Yuma. Lionsgate have done some great stuff. Yeah, three times to you, must correct. No, no, I'm, I'm not saying anything about Lionsgate. With Lionsgate, there is no cult. There's no cult. There's no studio culture. So you get whatever the 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 creatives uh, decide you're going to get. That's what you're going to get. It depends entirely mm -hmm. on the creatives. Just it being Lionsgate in and of itself means nothing. And also, okay, we got to yeah, make him watch. Expendables four. 
Expendables 4, it was distributed by Lionsgate. It was actually made by Millennium. That's Millennium. That's true. That's more true. More than if it's a Lionsgate movie. But we got to win Bravo Dave back here. I love The Crow, okay? It's Crow's an amazing, amazing film. In fact, I would almost, I almost hate to go out on a limb, but I almost say the movie improves the comic in some ways. Like, there's some characters in the movie that are amazing. Like, you don't have top dollar exactly in the comic and stuff like that to where, I mean, I think you should I check the should movie should rewatch out. that movie. You absolutely should. Yeah, maybe I'll reassess it if I rewatch it. That's been known to happen. It's coming out in 4K. Yeah, cool. I'll Ooh. watch it when it comes well, out let's, in 4K. Let's get some other people's uh, thoughts on all of this anyway. So, Culture, what are you reckon about any of this? Uh, well, I want to see what the new Eric Draven in the film looks like. It looks like I'm going to get to see it sooner than I had planned. It's interesting. We'll have to see exactly how they deal with a reboot of it and um if if they're making ballerina better i was already looking forward to it and if they're making it better mm. sign me up because it, look anna de armas doing crazy stunt fight things cool you know with guns oh, in fact one of the yeah. promotional images have you seen it they, they, like they, they, like they have they have like one of the ballerinas just surrounded by guns i'm like yeah that's pretty neat. And and look, I mean the 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 shot I used for the for the stinger, you know, she's sitting on a couch looking amazing. You know, and I forgot to use. It's fine. Uh it looks amazing and um No, I did use it. No, did I did use, use it? it. Okay, all right. I fair enough. I did, yeah. Yeah. All right. Uh anyway, she just looks great and then I, you know, naturally put the guy that's playing the you know, Eric Draven uh next to her. And and uh, look, I I thought I I I thought I thought both projects looked like they had potential, but the ballerina is the one that I'm now really looking forward to. Mm. I hope that they don't screw up the crow because I do believe that the original film was incredible. And I, and I, I, I go back and watch that movie. I don't know what's wrong with Andre. Is it Michael Bruckner who's the directing the, uh, the remake? No. Okay. No, no, no. No, just, well, no, there you go. Yeah. Nick is uh, buggered off, so we can't get his thoughts. But uh, there you go. Mm. There you go, ladies and gents. Ladies and gents. Um, I think I think we'll 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 move on to something which.